everyone. Uh, welcome to the September edition of the Hungry Runner Challenge. I am super excited to have any newbies joining us this month. You are in for a real treat with this month's challenge. And of course, welcome back to those of you who have been with me for a few months now. I'm really excited for September's challenge because I'm doing something a little different and I'm taking us back to school. The workouts are going to cover upper body, lower body, core, glutes, cardio, you name it. But what you get in a given day is going to vary. Here's what I mean. Each day, I'm going to give you a word. Each letter of that word corresponds to an exercise. So what combination of upper body, lower body, cardio, resistance training you get in a given workout is going to vary every day. So we'll always keep your body guessing. And to make it easy on you, I'm going to post in the cover photo of our group a little key that reminds you what each letter of the alphabet stands for in relation to an exercise. And of course, I'm making the demo videos for you and they will be available in the description section of the group so that you always know what to do or if you forget, you can have a reference to go back to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and run you through the entire alphabet and what those exercises correspond to. So here we go. <coughs> The letter A is going to stand for ab attack. And how you do the ab attack is you come down into a squat position and bring your leg up in a jump. I'll show you from the side. And also straight on, you're gonna squat out, bring your knee up, squat out, bring your knee up. And you'll alternate sides with that. I'm sure you can all guess the letter B. If you've been with me before, it's your burpee. The letter C is going to be for chest press, so you will be on the ground for this one, and you can use your weights. And it's just a simple overhead press. Like so. Alright, here we go. D, dumbbell side bend. Doesn't look like much, but you're going to feel it in your obliques. Holding a dumbbell or a weight, bending to the side. E stands for elbow to knee. Also called bicycle, but I was having a hard time finding an exercise that started with E. So elbow to knee is your basic bicycle crunch. F is a frog jump. So it's kind of like a jump squat, except your hands are gonna to touch the ground every time you come down. G is for glute bridge. Again, laying down, and you're gonna raise your glute off the ground. H is for hammer curl. And I, because you all loved them so much last month, I'm bringing back the inchworm. On the inchworm, you just fold your body down to the ground, walk it out, plank position, walk it in. One more time, you fold down to the ground, plank, and bring it up. I'm going to stop here for this video, give you another one with another round of letters.